happy. We tried to go for the victory actually. Uh, we, did, we planned the sprint, we didn't plan like uh, coming solo or going for the breakaway in the last kilometer. It was, it was, it happened by accident actually. Uh, I heard in the radio uh, when I started the lead out, I person you have a gap, uh, go for it. So I put everything in my head and I made it to the line on my own. And first, it's it's really it's really nice and it's really unbelievable. It's you entered the book of the records, first Austrian rider to wear the jersey to win a stage. Yeah, it's. It's the first Austrian, and it's the 100th edition of the Giro, so <laughs> it's, it's, I think, the best moment for Austrian cycling, and, and really, it's the best time and the best day of my life, I think. After your wedding day, I hope. Sorry? After your wedding day last yeah, year. Yeah, 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 for sure, yeah, for sure. I know that I, sep I try to separate like private and this is work, so it's my best working day. <laughs> you are the youngest uh, Austrian national champions. Uh, you are a destiny man. Um, yeah, it was like, it was my first, the first race I won was the national championship actually, it was, this was also, it, it was not planned, but I had the best legs and on this day it was, it was also, it was my turn and I'm really happy and I, I think it's desire. What, what about uh, to, 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 to wear this kind of jersey in the same team of uh, Peter Sagan? Yeah, it's, it's really cool actually. I, Peter is a really funny guy and a really nice guy. Uh, we had a lot of fun in the races we did and also in training camps. I learned a lot from him actually this year in the classic season. I improved myself a lot and yeah, we have we have still way to go and still space to improve. So we're gonna keep continue like this and we will see what's come up. You say we have fifths of uh, Arold back. You feel really you're stepping up? Yes, actually, yes. Uh, the improvement is is really good. Uh, I feel like it's my second season as professional rider, so I feel that you know all the the peaks what you get from the races. The races are hard, and you get improving, and the recovery is better and better. So, yeah, it's still a long way to go, and I don't know. It's my first Grand Tour actually, so have a look how the upcoming days are gonna be, but. I'm really happy and really pleased. I enjoy the moment now, really. You are in the second year of your uh, as a professional, and what about, what kind of rider are you, uh, chrono man? Yeah, I like the chrono. It's it's my passion actually. I, I like the pain. I don't know, uh, <laughs> but I love the classics. I love the couple classics in Flanders and in E3 Hallerbeck. I did my first uh, well to result so far. So today is a different story, but. This was this meant also a lot to me. It was like a good job from the team also there, and uh, it, it's pointed out, you know, the team is strong and everybody can do the result. It just needs it's a matter of time. What do you imagine for tomorrow? You are in Big Jersey. If there is a sprint, you will do the lead out for for uh, Sam Bennett. Yes, if there is a sprint, for sure I will do the lead out for Sam because he's the fastest sprinter I know. Uh, we trained for this, we we planned for this, and I'm here for this. It's we're a team. We support each other, and we will see what's going to happen. It was a dream for you, the Pink Jersey, and now it's true. <laughs> yes, actually, it, it was a dream for me uh, going to the Giro. Uh, it, it happened this year. It's the hundredth Giro. It was a dream for me some some day, maybe in the future in the Pink Jersey. It happened today, so uh, it's dreams coming true for me this year. Are you going to sleep in the Jersey? I, I think so. Yes, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Thank you.